My mother died in 2000, and she died from the complications of AIDS uh, in my arms in Harlem Hospital right here in New York. Uh, she, uh, she slipped, uh, she slipped into a, a coma. I remember being in the hospital room, sitting on the side of, sitting on the side of her, her bed and holding her in my, in my arms and slowly watching, uh, slowly watching the, uh, her vitals, uh, just stop, slow down and stop. If my mother had access to clean syringes today, my mother would definitely be alive. If my mother had access to many of the, of the things around harm reduction, syringes, ties, cookers, cottons, uh, she would more than likely still be alive. It's been an amazing embrace that I've had coming into this process. I came into harm reduction pretty banged up. During my, during my early, my early usage, uh, stigma kept me in the shadows. Stigma caused me to feel excluded. You can die being in the shadows because there's nothing, there's nothing except a void, a void of continuous, uh, a continuous and and endless abuse to oneself. You feel as though there's no help at all from no one. And it's not until that, it's not until someone sort of lets you know that you are worth something. You are worth saving. You, you, you are someone who, who needs to live that you begin to understand. The individuals who embrace me uh, Embrace me with a total and complete non judgmental uh, approach. And through that, it allowed me to sort of develop in my own time and in my own way to uh, becoming this, 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 this individual who, who wears many different hats, uh, who no longer sleeps under bridges, who no longer sleeps under highways. I want to be seen, I want to, I want to stand out in the light. And I want many of my friends who are users, who are still in the shadows, to join me in that light, to say that we are worth saving. We are human beings.